People are noticing Meghan Markle blinking over 40 times per minute, compared to the average person who blinks just 12 to 20 times a minute. And now the internet is speculating that she may have developed a new tick. Body language analysts online are saying that her excessive blinking means she's nervous or lying or just bored. But what if I told you the real medical reasons behind her fast blinking could be very different from what people are guessing? The cause could be right in front of our eyes. No pun intended. Here is what made me decide to make this video. I have a patient who came to see me with excessive blinking. Everyone around her thought she was anxious or hiding something. We figured out the real cause, treated it successfully, and her excessive blinking went away completely. A few days ago, she came back and said, Doctor, I just saw Meghan Markle's recent videos. She's blinking exactly like I was. You need to make a video about this so other people can understand the possible medical causes. So that's exactly what I'm doing today. Let me be clear from the start. I've never met Meghan Markle, I've never treated her, and I'm not diagnosing her. But I can explain the fascinating medical science behind excessive blinking, and I'll share what helped my patient overcome it completely. So let's talk about what everyone else online is saying first. Body language experts have shared their opinions. They're pointing at Megan's blinking and saying three main things. First, they say she's nervous, especially when talking about sensitive or emotional topics. Second, some say she might be bored or uncomfortable in the moment. Third, some people go straight to the most dramatic answer and say it means she's lying. Blinking is easy to notice. It moves fast, it looks emotional, and it's right there on camera for everyone to see. The focus on emotions and nervousness may be correct in some cases, but here is what's fascinating. Blinking is not just about feelings. It's also about your eyes, your eyelids, your tears, and even your hormones. So today, I want to present the scientific medical reasons that most people are not considering. One of the most common medical reasons for excessive blinking is something called habit blinking. This is how it works. Something irritates your eyes, like dryness, makeup, wind, or dust. Your eyes keep blinking to fix the problem. But even after the irritation goes away, your body continues to blink because it learned the pattern. It became a habit. Think of it like a habit cough. You get a cold and you cough for two weeks. The cold goes away, but you keep on coughing for another month because your brain got used to doing it. That is habit cough. Habit blinking is very similar. Habit cough starts with something irritating the throat. Habit blinking starts with something irritating the eye. Habit blinking often increases when someone feels stressed, tired, anxious, emotional, or thinks about their blinking. But it usually gets better when the person is distracted and not thinking about it. Now, many people confuse habit blinking with a tick. These are actually two very different things. With a tick, you feel an urge building up inside you, like an uncomfortable sensation that gets stronger and stronger until you have to do the movement. When you finally blink, it releases that urge and gives you relief. You can hold it back for a short time, but it comes back even stronger as soon as you relax. Ticks are neurological and that urge keeps returning. Habit blinking works completely differently. There's no urge, there's no buildup of uncomfortable feeling. It just happens automatically because your brain learned the pattern and often it fades away when you forget to think about it. So not every fast blink is a tick. Sometimes your body is simply repeating a pattern that started after something bothered your eyes and the pattern just stuck around. Now, here is a part almost nobody online is talking about. And this is the reason I wanted to make this video. Eyelash extensions and lash enhancements can cause excessive blinking. I know it sounds surprising, but research shows they can bother the eyes. The lash extension industry in the United States was estimated at about $1.6 billion in 2024, which means these treatments are extremely common. If you look at different moments in Megan's public appearances, sometimes her lashes look very full and other times they look lighter. This suggests she may be using lash treatments and these can easily affect blinking. Eyelash enhancements come in a few forms. Some lashes are individually attached to each natural lash. Some enhancements are glued on as full sets or small groups. Some are magnetic lashes that attach with tiny magnets in a magnetic liner. 
All of these can change the way your eyelid move across your eyes, and that can cause problems. Here is what the science shows. Studies have found that eyelash extensions can cause irritation, make your eyelids feel heavy, and change your tear layer. One study checked people one hour after getting eyelash extensions. Many of them felt irritation or dryness right away. By one week later, their tear layer became less stable. That means that their eyes became dry faster than before. Even the glue itself can irritate the eyelid and the surface of the eye. When the surface of the eye becomes irritated, the eye tries to stay more comfortable by blinking more. Now, here is the tricky part. Even after the irritation goes away or the enhancements are removed, the extra blinking can stay. The brain learns the blinking pattern and keeps it going, even when the trigger is gone. It turns into a habit. After that, emotional states like stress, fatigue, or being on camera can make the blinking even more noticeable. Eyelash extensions are not the only medical reason for blinking a lot. Let me give you a quick list of other real medical causes. Dry eyes are one of the biggest. Phones, computers, air conditioning, and makeup can all cause dryness. When your eyes are dry, you blink more to spread the tears across your eye. Autoimmune conditions like Sjogren's disease can reduce tear production. Sjogren's is a condition where your immune system attacks the glands that make tears. Menopause and perimenopause can change the hormones that keep your eyes moist. Allergies from makeup, mascara, or environmental allergens can irritate your eyes. Contact lenses can also dry out your eyes, especially if they are worn for a long time. And here is the main idea. Anything that dries the eyes makes the surface feel rough or uncomfortable. When that happens, the eye sends a signal that it needs more moisture. Blinking is the body's way of spreading fresh tears and protecting the eye. So when you put all these together, you can see there are many reasons for excessive blinking that have nothing to do with secrets, nerves, or lies. Now, let me tell you about the patient who inspired this whole video. This is a real story, and it shows exactly how all of this can happen in real life. She got eyelash extensions for the very first time right before a major social event. Big mistake. Her eyes got irritated almost immediately. She felt uncomfortable during the entire event. She was self-conscious, blinking like crazy, and couldn't enjoy herself at all. After the event, she got the extensions removed. Problem solved, right? Wrong. The blinking continued. It had become a habit. She became more aware of it whenever she talked to people or felt stressed. The more she thought about it, the worse it got. So she came to see me. She knew exactly what triggered the blinking because it started after using artificial lashes, but she still wanted a complete evaluation. So we ran some tests and we found another cause of dry eyes that may be exacerbating her issue. We found early Sjogren's antibodies. Now, these antibodies don't mean that she definitely has Sjogren's disease, but they can show up early in some people before full symptoms develop. So we knew we needed to address this problem from several angles. Here is what we did. First, for the early autoimmunity, we placed her on low-dose naltrexone for a couple of months. This is a medication that can help with inflammation and with regulating the immune system. Second, we added fish oil to support her eye surface. Fish oil contain omega-3 fatty acids that help with tear production and reduce inflammation. Third, and this part is important, she asked her friends and family to gently tell her if her blinking increased. This helped her become aware of the pattern so she could catch herself and control it. This is the same approach we use for habit cough. When someone has a habit cough that continues long after their cold is gone, we ask their family to gently say, stop coughing the moment it starts. This helps the person become aware of the pattern in real time so they can catch themselves and control it. That same technique worked very nicely for her blinking. Over time, the blinking went away. It took consistency and reassurance, but she got back to normal. So here are the two things I hope you take away from this. First, Eyelash extensions and enhancements can be fun, but they can also surprise you. If you have never tried them before, do not test them out right before a big event. Don't do it before a wedding, a graduation, or any day that truly matters to you, because if your eyes react badly, you can't fix it on the spot. You may spend the whole evening blinking like a broken turn signal, feeling uncomfortable and self-conscious. My patient learned that the hard way. You don't have to. Second, 
remember that blinking can be medical. It can come from dryness, irritation, hormones, or even a habit that the brain holds on to. Most of the time, it has nothing to do with nerves or secrets at all. Our bodies work hard to keep us comfortable, and sometimes a quick blink is part of that effort. If you found this interesting or helpful, then please share with others. Please subscribe and leave a like. This is for educational purposes only and not medical advice. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.